guys, welcome back. It's your boy Kenny, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, I know I haven't been on here in a while, but I am really trying to be more consistent with my videos. So, I feel like this will be like an easy video to do because I did this in like two, I filmed this in like two separate parts. And um, I feel like it's more going on to the brand that I guess I want to do. And it's more, I guess, like um, fashion videos and stuff. And that's one of the things I really wanted to do, but I never actually sat down to do it. Because fashion videos, if you guys don't know, it takes a lot of time because you have to get in and out of outfits. And it's just like so... Not, it's not hard, but it's annoying taking on, taking off. Sometimes you get hot, sometimes you don't, whatever. But, um, I really wanted to do this because I feel like I haven't seen too many videos of this, at least with a boy version. And I thought it'd be really cool because I, I feel like this is what I'm stepping more into, I guess, fashion wise, because of the people that I've really been like, looking up to. And, like, the people that I've been looking up to is people like Bretman Rock. Uh, Nava Rose and um, this other girl, her name is Jenny Lynn. I'm a, I've am been really looking into like more, I guess, like genderless and like unisex fashion or whatever. And I kind of want to do a video on it because I feel like uh, I've seen like this one girl, I think her name is Jade Fox, and literally she popped up on my feed uh, when I was like just looking at videos. And the crazy thing is, I was already thinking about it before I even seen her video, but she had popped up, and I feel like that was kind of like a, um, what did I say? I feel like that was kind of like a, you should do it. Like, there was like a sign of saying, go ahead and do it because I've been thinking about it for a while and I've really been like experimenting with my styles and like I really like it. And so I feel like I haven't really seen any boys do it, especially any black boys do it. So I feel like might as well do it. Will I get views or not? I, I feel like it's the direction I really want to go with my YouTube content because I have been feeling really, I don't want to say non binary. But just really like, I guess like genderless when it comes to like just expressing myself fashion wise. So I am going to do a video on, like do a video on genderless outfits, five genderless outfits where I feel like a boy and a girl could wear. Now these aren't going to be super crazy because I'm just now stepping into it. So it's going to be a lot of like comfortable wear and it's going to be really affordable. That's another thing I forgot to say. And it's just gonna, like, I've really been, like, liking, like, really, like, baggy stuff. And, like, I've been really liking mixing in with baggy stuff. And, like, you know, just being really relaxed but still stylish at the same time. So, enough of me talking. Let's go on with the video. So, the first one, I try to be, I guess, like, I guess kind of like a retro thing. Now, this outfit, it really made me feel like... Um, something that I feel like Bremen Rock inspired, and so I got, um, this jacket, it's a leather jacket from Forever 21 I had for, like, years when I was, like, working there, when I was, like, 18, 19. This jacket was probably, like, between 15, 20 dollars. The shirt, I got it from Shein, it was on sale for, probably, like, 5 dollars. Like, I feel like, I don't know why I just feel so, like, Galactica kind of vibe with this shirt. I really like it. I got these jeans from, uh, the thrift store. I had cut them up myself. The jeans were like a dollar. The shoes, the Adidas shoes, I got those from Journeys for a good, I, don't, I can't remember, but I know they were like really cheap because they're uh, pretty old versions, but I really like them. And like this belt, I had this belt for years, so if you see a little wear and tear, that's where I got it from. I really like it. It just makes me feel like kind of like retro and really like cool a little bit. And it was just really fun to wear because I never wore anything like it. I never wore anything like this. I tried to pair it together. Um, it's this red cardigan I got from like the thrift store. It's really comfortable. I really like it. And then I paired it together with this uh, Tupac oversized shirt that I got from City Trends. That was really cheap. Probably like $11, $10. These high-waisted jeans. I got it from Boohoo. I don't know if they look high waisted, but they're definitely high waisted. Like they're like right a little bit above my uh, belly button. So those are really cool. And I paired it with my felines. Now this outfit is really relaxed, even though the jeans aren't that loose, but they're still loose enough because I've been losing weight from keto. And um, I feel like a Liberian when I wear it. Like I don't know, I feel like, like those cool Liberians just like at a school or at a library and it's just like, hey kids, what book do you wanna like look at today? Which book do you wanna like run out today? Like I just really like it because I feel like I've never tried to style like this before with like a graphic tee and a cardigan and I feel like it was probably one of my favorite outfits of the bunch. So the next outfit I try to be more like I guess like brunch oriented or like brunch or like a cute little dinner or something. 
So I paired it with like this um, white button down that I had and I, I got it from like a dress store because I was working at a job for like two, three weeks that like required to look, do business casual. So I just bought a bunch of button downs and it was like, I like the uh, texture because it's really soft and it looks a little silky. I don't know if you guys can tell I'm caring, but it looks like really like shiny and silky. And um, in person, I got these, um, uh, what is it, the high-waisted jeans on again, they're black, and they're bell-bottoms. You probably can't see it, because you can't see, like, the full outfit. I should have backed up a little bit, and I cut some slits into the knees, because I thought it was really cute. Um, I also wore, like, my galactic sandals that I got from, uh, ASOS. Those, I had those for, like, two, three years. I only wore them, like, a couple times. I paired it up with, like, this gold, chunky, uh, choker necklace kind of thing. And, like, these vintage glasses I got from this thrift store and the loop. Uh, if you guys are from uh, St. Louis, you know what the loop is. It used to call it vintage vinyl, I think. And I feel like, really, I guess like classy, but still like comfortable because I got my sandals on. And the bell bottom uh, high-waisted pants, those are loose, looser on me, but they're still a little on like the tighter end. So those are really a uh, fun outfit to wear. So the next outfit that I have is, I feel like kind of like a skater in these. And, like, this is probably the most comfortable outfit because everything I have on is just, like, really baggy, if you guys couldn't tell. So, this whole outfit is thrift store. Like, the whole outfit, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's all thrift store. Like, the flannel, I got it from a thrift store, like, two, three years ago. The t-shirt, it's a black regular t-shirt I got from H&M for probably, like, three or four dollars from the basic section. So I have, like, this little lock necklace on. Uh, I got that, I think, from H&M as well. Um, the fanny pack, I got that from Journeys. The, um, really oversized, um, jeans. I got those for, like, a dollar or two dollars from, like, the thrift store. Those are, like, probably somebody's dad jeans. Those were really comfortable. And I have my Adidas shoes on again. I just feel really relaxed. I just feel like a little skater that I can just, like, go skating in it. I actually had wore that outfit later that day because it just looked really it didn't it looked really good and it was just like super comfortable like i'm telling you like it might have been hot outside but i was like you know what i'm doing for fashion and i also like how i wrapped the fanny pack into like a belt because those jeans were really big so the last outfit that i did this was another it wasn't more so vintage but um not vintage it wasn't a lot of thrifted pieces it was just one thrifted piece with piece which was the pants and i cut holes in the pants because I just love ripping up jeans and they were like a dollar or two dollars so I was like fine I'm gonna do that I had on my um it's a velvet black hoodie I don't know if you could tell if there's velvet but it's a velvet black hoodie that I can't remember where I got it from I think I got it from Forever 21 for like 15 dollars I think and I have on like my eggy uh, bomber jacket that I got from Jenim, or if you guys know the OG from uh, Close Encounters, I got that, and I just have my Velas on that was like really cheap for like $30, $40. This is probably one of my favorite outfits. I probably should have changed up the uh, jeans because looking at it now, I don't know if I really like it with the jeans. I probably should have worn something different, but I really liked it all in all. And it was honestly really cute to me, and you could wear it without the jacket too if you wanted to. And I don't know, I just really feel like it was a really comfortable outfit, but it's comfortable but cute if you guys, like, you know, like it. Like, okay, guys, that was the end of the video. Um, I know it was really quick, really fast. I wanted to do, like, a quick little, easy little video. And, like I said, I had filmed it in two different days just because I was busy, so I wanted to film, like, the first part and then film the second part later. And I am going to really try to, um upload on a daily not a daily oh no god no on a regular basis which like i do want to do like once a week at least because i am really busy because i work full time or whatever or whatnot but i do want to like really upload and stuff and like i think a lot of the reasons why i didn't upload um too much because i think i was just trying to do things that i feel like will grab people's attention but now i'm really gonna try to do things that i really actually like to do and not just what i feel like will grab people's attention and i do have uh i have been really trying to experiment with like i guess like genderless and unisex more style clothing wise or whatever and i feel like that's this is like a good threshold for me to go because i don't know if this is going to be my brand but it's something that i've been doing in my everyday life so i was like oh might as well make a youtube video on it i actually looked it up and i like i said i haven't seen any boys that really do it 
and the boys I do see doing it, not saying it's a bad thing, but it's like mostly like them wearing like dresses and skirts and stuff. And I feel like just because you want to dress like unisex and something like that doesn't mean you have to be in dresses and skirts because I personally don't like wearing dresses and skirts, but I like wearing things that is like really gender bending. So it's like I want to like I guess show a different side of that because I don't really see any boys do it. Especially any like black boys doing it, at least not on YouTube. So I feel like it, it was a good video. Um, I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully you guys will see me next week because I'm definitely going to try to be more active on this channel. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.